Did I just say I joined here on McLean's TV by our uh, resident GA expert Stephen McDonald? I want to ask you a couple of things about Iron Man and the All Iron, but before that, uh, it appears breaking news that Paul Grimley now looks to have decided to step down as Iron Man manager. Personally, I think that's the wrong decision. I think he should have stayed. Yeah, I probably agree with you. Um, Paul has done a remarkable job. He's been heavily criticised over the last number of years, but um, certainly, you know, Paul's plan all the time was to build. Arma into a force again, and I certainly believe so that he he, done, he achieved that goal this year, and he got the lads playing a, a good style of football, and they were very physically strong, and yeah, you know their fitness levels were very good as well, and you know I have to say that a lot of that comes down to Paul's man management as well, and I think um, that he's done a great job, and it is disappointing news if it is true. Interesting, I was in uh, Oma, as I said to you there off camera, uh, the McKenna Cup on Arma got hammered. The likes of Charlie Vernon was playing in a, in a new position and full back and a lot of criticism on that, you know, but the Arma management stuck with him. That's why I think that, you know, I can't understand why Paul did walk away. This is his team. Yeah, um, you know, Charlie would have been another player who, who has been criticised over the years as well, you know, and maybe it's no fault... Uh, due to himself you know he's been thrown around many different positions I played with Charlie in championship matches where he's midfield I've played with him where he's been wing half forward I've also played with him where he's been in the half back line so you know um, <clears throat> obviously the management seen a position for him in the full back line while he didn't work out well against Throne in that Mechanic Cup match back in January they stuck with him they believed in him and you know their belief in him instilled that confidence in him as a player and Charlie kicked on to have a fantastic season for Armagh in full back how do you think that Paul will be judged both within the county and outside the county? I know we had the whole thing about the media ban and all that, which I disagreed with, you know, but uh, he, he he wanted it, so he stuck with it. It suited RMA. But uh, in my opinion, he should be judged He should be judged well. Yeah, um, unfortunately, he probably won't be. You know, a lot of people will look back to last year's um, debacle in, in, in Cavan in Breffney Park and, and how open they were and I, I still believe that he, Paul went in with the right tactics if every player I, I, I don't believe each player done the duties that was required of them on, the, on that given day and they didn't carry out the instructions uh, as given by Paul and and also you know the media ban will have an overall bad effect on, on Paul's reign as a manager but um, <clears throat> you know he done it for the right reasons for what he seen was the right reasons and, and I have no doubt that for me, as an ex-player, looking on the Paul's reign has been a success. He's got the team back to an all Ireland quarter-final in summer where we haven't been in six years. And, you know, um, I think, you know, Paul should be leaving with his head held high anyway.